Hey, how y'all doing? I hope you're doing well. It is Wednesday, July the 20th. It is the 20th. I have a calendar right there. I should know to look. Anyway, I hope y'all are doing well. It's Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. I am not doing terribly, but to be perfectly honest, kind of having a little sad girl moment. Why? I don't really know. I think it's kind of the culmination of a lot of things. My internship is coming to an end and I don't know, I don't think that they're gonna offer me a job. I don't think it's totally out of the question so I may ask for a full-time position there but then again I'm kind of leaning towards like not looking for one there and looking for one elsewhere. It's a whole ordeal but I have that running around in my brain and there's just been a lot going on at the internship. We've been getting hit with project after project so my backlog is really piling up. I've been handling it but it feels like the stress finally just decided to evolve and the stress has been building along with the worry about the internship and the job offer and needing income and wanting to move out and all these other things. It's just been building, building, building on this stress until finally today it just decided FBI open up! So I just decided that I would try and make a little vlog today of doing nothing but also doing some things if that makes sense. I'm not really big on lifestyle tip kind of vlogger people where they're like five productive hacks to make your 5 30 a.m morning routine special like they're fine more power to them i'm impressed they can do all that a lot of us know that most of those things are not realistic even they acknowledge that a lot of those tips aren't realistic for people to follow all of the time but even, especially for me, most of those channels, most of the tips they provide are for neurotypical people. They work for neurotypicals. I am not neurotypical. They don't work for me. They just don't. The only lifestyle, I guess, if you want to call it that, like, tip productivity type of creator that I found that actually has things that work for me is a creator named Michelle B. Their videos are actually incredible. I don't watch them religiously or anything, but when one of their videos catches my eye, I do pay very close attention, and so many of those tips have helped me, or at least helped me gain perspective, if not actually something to practice. A lot of them have tips that I have put in practice and have made my life a lot better, and also I believe they have a family member. I don't quote me on this, but I think it's their sister has ADHD and so they incorporate that a lot into their tips, into their research, which is nice. One of their tips is go slow, don't stop, which can work for me and sometimes does, but more than that it's just, you know, do little things. You don't have to do everything. Do the little things that bother you. One of their main tips is talking about like make a task list of like everything you need to do, every little thing that's bothering you. Walk around your house, take note of like, I need to fix that picture. It's been hanging crooked for the past month. Like even little things like that, just make a list and start, you know, ticking them off. So that's sort of what I want to do today as like a self-care reset, also just sad girl day. I'm speaking a lot, so I'm just gonna get into my game plan for it. One of them is simply to message people. I am terrible with message communication, so I'm going to sit down and write out text messages and emails that I've been meaning to send for weeks. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy my room. It's a lot of little things that add up to a big thing, so I'm just going to try and tackle it one item by one item. And I know that it seems intimidating right now, but I'm gonna feel so much better after I just get it done.
So you may have seen this lying on my bed just in that clip and been like, Shay, is that a giant pizza on your bed? Sort of. It's a Beartooth vinyl. So story with this is Beartooth and their manager, Tommy G, who's an amazing human being, referred to their vinyl as pizzas, and especially the special variants have different toppings on them, so they made a variant of their album as a pizza. And there was only about 500 made, I think, and at the time when they came out, I was like, crap, I don't have enough money to get this, I'm just gonna have to sit this one out. Um, yeah, it turns out my mom is the literal best and just surprised me with this. I came home and she was like, surprise, nerd. So, thanks, mom. And if you saw this and you're wondering what this is, this is my prized possession. This is my number one probably valued album. I mean, it's not even an album, it's a single, but it's a Clash single that you could only get in the UK by, like, clipping out a voucher in the back of a magazine in the 70s and sending it in to the magazine and they would send you this. It's a promotional label copy. It was never for like commercial sale and it has the single Capital Radio on it and Listen along with some interviews. I love this more than I love myself. I'm so proud to own this. Hey kiddos, uh, intermission time. You remember how at the start of this video I mentioned that uh, my internship, my work was a little bit stressful because we were getting backlogged with projects and a lot of them were falling on me because of back catalog? Okay, am I in a stressful situation? I just got six more projects to do. Is this situation a little stressful? On my off day. I don't sense no stress. I can't work from home, so they're gonna have to wait till I go in tomorrow, but that's six new projects to add on to my already probably dozen item long list. I'm stressed! I think it's cookie time. I was debating on making some cookies tonight, and I think it's cookie and movie time. Okay, so update. I decided to go ahead and bake the rest of the cookies that were left in the pack because if I only did two rows there were just going to be four more left so I might as well do all of them. 
this is probably going to turn out to be disastrous. But, oh well. I know I haven't rolled them up yet. Get off my case. Anyway, I think these are all going to synchronize into one giant monster cookie. And at this point, I frankly just don't care. Julia, if you're watching, this monster cookie's for you. Ladies, gentlemen, Shrek lovers and Shrek lifers, there is no monster cookie. Mission failed. We'll go next time. Unfortunately, one has already succumbed to the blight, but they were delicious, I can assure you. Cookies are now made. I'm gonna sit down and watch a movie. Hey y'all, sorry, I started this video and then my dog started barking. Went outside to look because it's the middle of the night and it's a giant armadillo in our yard. Yay, Tennessee. Anyway, it's the end of the day. I'm about to go to bed. Actually, I kind of like that this video was short because it's sad girl hours, but I think it goes to show that you don't have to do a lot to feel better. I'm glad I went by the go slow, don't stop, and just task list method of checking off the little things that were bothering me. I also did a little bit of a workout and, you know, had some food to eat, which I didn't film, but just those few things that I did film made me feel so much better. That's not much, but to some people that may be more than they can do. That may be all they can do, and that's totally fine. Even if you can do just one of those things, that's awesome. Some days you can't do anything, and that's okay too. Some We all have those days, especially people who struggle with mental health. That's the thing too, at least personally with my ADHD, is that when a lot of little stuff starts piling up, it starts adding on to the struggle of itself. Like say I, I keep books on the nightstand by my bed, right? And say I have some scattered about my room. Well, I need to put them back on my nightstand. But also in my head, I'm like, well, you know, I really need to take everything off my nightstand and dust it. But where am I going to put that stuff when I take it off my nightstand to dust it? Because my bed's not made and I don't just want to set stuff on my bed. So I really need to make my bed. But also maybe I need to wash my comforter first. Or do I need to just set stuff on the comforter before I wash it? And it's just this hierarchy of different things that eventually leads me in a stasis that just goes nowhere because I don't know where to start. If I have a place to start or if I can put it in as few steps as possible, that's what makes it manageable for me. That's what I was able to do today with just a few small things, especially things that were one step and done, like put book back on shelf or put jacket back on chair. I'm probably just going to end the night by journaling and listening to some videos while I journal. I like to do that. I like to have something playing in the background or foreground while I'm journaling. That way, if I get stuck on journaling, I just look up and kind of watch. I like to be half distracted all the time. <laughs> Blame whatever you want on it, but that's what works for me. I typically like to watch long playthroughs, so I'll put on some like Gab Smolders or someone's VOD. Sometimes I just put on a binge watch of Critical because I love Critical. Most of the time it's usually Gab Smolders or watching a long Markiplier playthrough, usually with Bob and Wade. I love Mark, Bob, and Wade. I think that's what I'll do tonight. I'll probably watch some Raft while I journal. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds like where the dopamine is going to be hitting, you know what I mean. I'm not Italian. Why did I do that? Thank you for joining me on this, albeit short journey. If you haven't heard it from anyone else today, I love you. Love and peace. Until tomorrow.